afraid. Uh, I, I was struck by uh, the ingeniousness and the, uh, and in some cases, the humor uh, of the projects that we've heard. And in regards to the general question that the uh, gathering this morning uh, is meant to address, which is this connections and antitheses between ethnography, art, and uh, uh, community involvement, um, it seemed to me that there was involvement, there is involvement by people who are, in a sense, in a community or in a society or in a linguistic group. Uh, and um, that, that works, but if, if I ask what is involvement, uh, uh, if I address the key terms, what is art? <laughs> uh, think of the differences in the things I've heard this morning. Uh, what is involvement? and above all, what is a community, uh, all those terms are um, opaque to me anyway. They're too complicated. Community is usually an ideological uh, uh, apologetic, uh, covering over all sorts of uh, differences and tensions. Uh, involvement, um, you know, I mean, how much involvement is there really? Um, and. Um, the question that was asked for us really is what is um, uh, what does what does art do better than ethnography? And uh, it, it seemed to me um, you know, people who are outside a, uh, a society, for instance, in the U.S., talking about Australia or New Guinea or Africa, or whatever it might be, um, have. Um, uh, uh, sort of responsibility to actually uh, um, do ethnography <laughs> and get their facts straight, um, and that um, it's too much lot of liberal guilt trip to uh, um, uh, feel embarrassed or, or, or critique that uh, uh, that practice. I wanted to uh, therefore talk a little bit about what is fieldwork. Um, uh, that's at the heart of ethnography and wonder about the three or four things that we've presented today. Um, I was thinking that uh, uh, fieldwork depends an awful lot on uh, the uh, um, strange fallout of the stranger effect. And the stranger effect has many dimensions, one of which is a stranger understands better uh, in some respects what's going on in a place because they stand precisely because they stand outside that so-called community that's a very privileged and uh, insightful position the outsider also is completely ignorant <laughs> of lots of things that go in so there's a dialectic there between unusual novel insight combined with uh, ignorance that's one aspect of the stranger effect. Another aspect must be the way in which strangers are taken in uh, by their hosts and how that uh, relationship can be a very delicate one, very generous one, and is a, a form of uh, uh, gift giving. The gift may be uh, one of uh, food and a roof, uh, connections to other people, uh, connections to uh, histories, um, in, a sen in, a, in, a, in some it's, a, it's a, a gift of knowledge. Uh, the gift giving is a very difficult thing which we do all the time unthinkingly and are very good at. If we try to analyze it, it gets quite a bit harder, um, but that doesn't get in the way really. I just want to draw your attention to the f way in which the outsider or stranger effect uh, entails gift giving, uh, which will be uh, a reciprocal thing. Stephen Mookie, who's sitting over here uh, in, in some of his work, has talked about ethnography as a, a form of uh, storytelling, and that when he goes visiting, he's very eager to hear, as I would be, as I think anybody in this room would be, very eager to hear other people's stories. Uh, and this is different to running a survey or having a questionnaire uh, and so forth, although, you know, those things are not uh, uh, to be ruled out. I mean, 
people, it seems to me obvious that if you want to do a serious job, you want to understand uh, those sorts of dimensions of a society. It's an insult to that society not to know them. Uh, and so you can't rule that out simply on because you don't like positivism or something. Um, but this, uh, and I've seen in Stephen's writing uh, this, this sense of slight sort of feeling of awkwardness or even guilt about sort of landing on someone's doorstep and wanting to hear their stories and how you might exchange your stories with theirs. But I, my own experience is that that's not necessarily, other people may not be so interested in my story uh, anyway. Uh, or even interested in outside worlds. I remember taking a tape of, uh, audio tape of some uh, singing from Central Australia by indigenous people to uh, 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 indigenous people in the upper Amazon in Colombia in the 80s. And um, they were great singers, uh, those healers there, and they would sing all night, uh, healing and having a good time. Uh, but after a couple of minutes, they asked me to switch it off. Uh, <laughs> here I was looking for some sort of comradeship across the Pacific or whatever, and primitive people are all alike and so on. And, uh, you know, there was a uh, sort of irritated, bored, and perhaps competitive as well, because shamans don't like other uh, shamans to uh, come out on top. But, uh, so there was not that much interest in my story. Uh, uh, but there's the, there's the uh, uh, a couple of thoughts about uh, uh, the gift giving and gift receiving complexity of the uh, stranger effect. Um, one of the um, things that's embodied also is uh, one of the things involved in this uh, fieldwork as a practice is um, uh, bodily exchange. Uh, People, when they go, or used to, if they didn't live in the, you know, the standardized homogenous hotel culture, uh, have to learn to uh, shit differently, sleep differently, different sound, different smell environment, and so forth. So there's a, there's a deep-seated bodily uh, uh, shift that uh, when you take into connection, with, when you take in, in, uh, in addition to the things I just mentioned, uh, it means that fieldwork is really um, another form of knowledge. It's not learning facts, it's not learning stories, uh, it involves with those things of course, but um, it, it seems to me it's a different way of knowing, and that's um, easy to slight with uh, unthought through or standardized versions of what, uh, of what uh, ethnography is. But if you think of this as a uh, you don't have to, you know, see it full square in the academy. Uh, if you think of this as a, another form of knowledge that involves the things I just talked about, plus plenty more, uh, I think it becomes very um, exciting and maybe maybe artful. Uh, one thing I didn't mention to add to this package: what is ethnography? And I, I define ethnography as uh, quintessentially. Uh, uh, involving fieldwork uh, is that um, it's secret um, and this is perhaps one of the most interesting things about it and that is to say no one teaches uh, and no one can be taught uh, what, what, how to do fieldwork. Uh, to try it is considered to be clumsy. Um, it's like trying to teach someone to ride a bike uh, or swim Plenty of people probably try to teach other people those sorts of things. Um, but what I'm talking about in terms of uh, it is, is uh, something that one is initiated into um, without any initiator. There's no formalized knowledge. So another thing that is involved there is the type of knowledge which um, somehow passes on through the ether or from uh, hand to mouth and, and so forth. Now, um, how that is, how, how such a, a, a sojourns or experiences are, are um, uh, what's the point? Uh, the point must surely be, which was mentioned, I think, in today's, one of today's talks, Anawana's maybe, I think it was, uh, how does one connect the known with the unknown? 